hopefully the, so the our discussion would be very lively okay uh, so uh, the thing is that uh, so the uh, this uh, particular topic about which i am going to discuss uh, the whole thing with you is relating to early medieval period of indian history uh, so the hopefully i am audible to all of you hello yes sir hello. you are audible to yes, everyone sir. Audible, sir. yes sir you are audible sir uh, yeah. yeah so हाँ सर हेलो हेलो सर सुहा जाऊँ ची सर हेलो हाँ सर सु अम्म सुनी पड़ तो सर सो इन एनी केस सो दे ओपली आई एम बॉडी बुल्ड टू यू यस सर हेलो Yes, sir. You are audible to everyone, sir. Hello. Ah, uh, no. I'm hearing you clearly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm listening to you, sir. Hello. Ah, uh, hello, sir. I'm listening to you, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Ah, hello, sir. I'm listening to you, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Ah, hello, sir. I'm listening to you, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. basically i am uh, so the uh, i will be discussing about uh, uh, the uh, debates about uh, feudalism in india and uh, this is a, a concept uh, which uh, uh, virtually uh, leads to the early medieval period of indian history and uh, for quite a, this early medieval period uh, so the Uh, for all counts, uh, so the this uh, spans uh, during the period from 500 to 1200 or 600 to 1200, and uh, sometimes it has been uh, uh, so they claim that uh, the period should uh, span between 400 uh, uh, Christian era to uh, 1300 Christian era, and. Uh, 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 so the this is the uh, so the period of early medieval history and period between post gupta and uh, pre uh, so the medieval period pre medieval period which correspond to the uh, period of the sultanate as well as uh, the mogal period of indian history which uh, is uh, relatively uh, so they can be Uh, so they described as uh, pre-colonial uh, period of Indian history, and for quite a long time, uh, this period has remained neglected uh, in the historiographical discourses. And uh, as you all know, any historical uh, historio historical discourses or historiographical discourses. Uh, so the uh, so the relating to the history of india started with uh, the writing subjects mill and uh, then also the uh, then our uh, so the uh, all indian verse or all all indian verse for history writing uh, continue and uh, we know that uh, so the uh, the uh, initially uh, this uh, there was the problem of the periodization of indian history and uh, james mill uh, so the when he wrote the history of british india in the beginning of uh, so the 19th century essentially for the colonial administrators uh, so the in india and uh, he divided the, the, the history into uh, periods in the period of medieval muslim later on as uh, two communal and in any case uh, 
so the uh, however it is only in the post independent about uh, uh, so the about uh, this period of indian history and uh, which has been uh, considered as a period of darkness in indian history with no uh, so the unitary history of india as such and uh, so the however uh, the, uh, the there was no uniform pattern uh, in the post harsha period as far as the political history of india is considered and uh, virtually uh, so the uh, virtually uh, the uh, early medieval period virtually uh, after uh, james mill uh, so the 100 years lapsed and then came vincent smith and who tried to uh, so the figure out a period for this uh, particular uh, span of time and uh, vincent smith in the beginning of the 20th century i uh, had uh, brought to light uh, so the uh, had brought to light and uh, the period from 400 to 1200 ad or 500 to 1200 ad as a period of medieval hindu kingdoms and we didn't have any uh, so the uh, metropolitan state or metropolitan state uh, during this period or unitary state and uh, the uh, whole of northern india the peninsular india uh, the deccan had witnessed uh, the emergence of the uh, so the regional dynasties and regional kingdoms like that of the cholas in the south the gurjara pratiharaj uh, the chahamanas in the north uh, the rashtrakutas the pala rashtrakutas of maharashtra and karnataka region and uh, uh, the palas of bengal so we didn't have uh, so the any unitary state uh, during this period and uh, that created a problem and uh, particularly the historians are uh, so the uh, are basically uh, so the uh, are basically interested uh, to uh, the study of uh, uh, the society and the economy of the people and uh, uh, the political history lost its uh, so the lost its importance and it didn't lose its importance rather socio economic developments social changes and the economic uh, aspects of the human life were been passed by the historians coming over to during the uh, 20th century and uh, this happened with the intervention made by the anil school of historians who propounded this uh, uh, propounded a new dimension to the understanding of the history and uh, that was being capitalized by the historians of india in any case uh, this uh, uh, virtually uh, we have a continuity as well as the change which has been witnessed in the early medieval period of indian history and which has spans during uh, 400 uh, uh, so 400 uh, christian era to 1300 christian era and uh, it is situated between uh, the early historical and medieval period of indian history and uh, in any case uh, so the uh, virtually uh, the uh, historians are unanimous uh, in the on the fact that this phase in indian history had a distinct identity and uh, so the as such differed from the early uh, from the early historical period as well as succeeding medieval period dominated by the sultans as well as uh, okay what happened nothing sir please continue sir okay uh, so in any case, uh, uh, so the, this period had a distinct identity. Uh, so the against early historical period, which has spans up to uh, uh, spans up to 
started uh, so the after 13 on the period or the mogul period of indian history and uh, so the uh, virtually this is the transitional period this particular period of indian history is a transitional period and this period has not been properly focused upon by the historians until the uh, so the until uh, so the the intervention made by didi kosambi in 1956 and uh, so the uh, coming over to and this period during this period uh, so the we find uh, so the lot of interventions and the interventions were mostly made by uh, so the rs sharma and uh, so the however he brought into discussion a concept an idea which was the mooted in europe and uh, in any case uh, so the as far as uh, historiography is concerned uh, the indian historiography is concerned whatever models whatever approaches whatever trends uh, uh, so they have been applied for studying india's uh, political social and economic history are all borrowed from europe and uh, so the all historical discourses that the historical discourses such in that the method approaches uh, uh, so the uh, trends jaha bhi ame dekhu che sabu dak se europe ro hi ase che europe re develop kari che ebo india ko import e dira se che ebo the masses historiography o ba uh, so the analysis historiography o ba uh, post marxist ho ba subaltern ho ba post modernist ho everything so pratyek te modern europe re emerge kar chi ta pare colonial historians mane india ko ani karte and actually uh, europe re territory is upon uh, considered as a period of uh, was a mooted and uh, scientific history writing uh, started uh, so the uh, started uh, so the this happened only after the scientific revolutions that nothing happens uh, in the world uh, so the without the intervention of science so in any case uh, uh, in the similar fashion this uh, feudal uh, debate was uh, imported into india uh, so the uh, by the british scholars and the earliest of the scholars to bring a discussion on the matter particularly this uh, feudalism was uh, brought into discussion by james uh, todd in uh, uh, so the in 19th century in the second half of 19th century and uh, virtually uh, so the he was the first person to uh, so the uh, to initiate a discussion on uh, so the uh, on uh, the uh, feudalism in uh, rajasthan and uh, particularly and uh, feudalism uh, is a concept uh, is a, it's a european medieval concept and uh, so the which uh, virtually focuses on lord vassal relationships the peasants were converted were uh, so the were virtually converted into vassals and uh, they were brought into a relationship uh, with the lord and uh, during the medieval period of europe and particularly in france and in italy we find uh, uh, so the medieval period uh, saw so the instability in various ways and uh, there were you know, you know invasions into rome which uh, brought an end to uh, the uh, so the early uh, so the the roman empire to an end probably uh, in uh, uh, and uh, so the virtually uh, so the feudalism is a so is a social structure feudalism is a social structure of medieval period and uh, this relates to the relationship 
between Lord and the Bhasa. So a sort of a relationship was uh, created and uh, which uh, became the uh, so the main focus of the uh, society and uh, uh, the purpose is to uh, so the appropriate uh, the uh, surplus and uh, virtually the labor was appropriated the peasant labor was appropriated by the lords who have been empowered by the uh, so the uh, by the kings uh, to uh, so the act as uh, intermediaries uh, between not uh, exactly as intermediaries rather so the kingly power came to be exercised by the lords uh, over the peasants in the respective uh, territories in the localities in the localities we find lords uh, being empowered by the uh, kings uh, to establish a sort of relationship with the uh, so the with the peasants and the feudalism uh, didn't have a proper definition of its own and it has not been properly uh, so the uh, devised uh, by any of the uh, scholars and uh, so the uh, any of the scholars even if uh, some of them uh, so the some of the scholars uh, tried to avoid using the term in the latter periods and uh, it's a uh, it's a sort of uh, social formation and uh, this social formation we can very well uh, so the uh, understand about uh, the social formation or the changes which were brought about uh, by the introduction of uh, feudalism in europe uh, so the from 5th or 6th century 6th century ad onwards so basically feudalism is a borrowed uh, from european historiography and uh, uh, so the uh, and However, uh, so the uh, this uh, term was uh, assigned to the uh, so the medieval period of European history during 17th and 18th century. After this idea of progress was uh, mooted by the uh, so the historians and a serious historical discourses uh, started in the global. Uh, particularly in Europe during 17th and 18th century, that, that is what I have already told you. And uh, so the uh, uh, 17th century Purburu, Kolosi Prakas, and an idea that a sort of society was existing in the medieval uh, so the Europe that was uh, uh, feudalism and uh, so the uh, and uh, feudalism it has its own characteristics and particularly a relationship was established uh, between uh, so the uh, between the lord and the vassals lords were empowered by the kings and uh, uh, so they empowered by the kings to protect the people and the people who were expected to render their labor uh, so the for agrarian production agrarian production and uh, however uh, so the uh, agrarian production and uh, basically feudalism exists only in an agrarian structure agrarian structure where economy is basically agrarian people jujagare agrarian structure exist koruchi sei jagare hi feudalism so they develop koruchi that is the main argument which was mooted by the european historians in any case this is being seen as a uh, so the, uh, this is uh, this is seen as a sort of uh, so the uh, uh, sort of uh, 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 sort of uh, relationship between class of landlords and the class of servile peasantry, and in this system, the landlords extract a surplus produce by various means. We will now 
से माने सर्वाइल पिजेंट्री मानन को ठारू जो दी सरप्लस टाको एक्स्ट्रैक्ट करू थले एंड दी मीन्स में भी सोशल रेलिजियस और पॉलिटिकल मीन्स एंड दीज मीन्स आर एक्स्ट्रा इकोनॉमिक मेथड एक्स्ट्रा इकोनॉमिक मेथड्स सो इन फ्यूडलिज्म the lord peasant relationship was converted into lord vassal relationships and this is at the heart of the matter and uh, so the uh, so in any case feudalism is a primarily a method of government and uh, so the it is not an economic or a social system and uh, uh, social system and in any case uh, uh, so the uh, the utilization of the labor force uh, so the maximum utilization of the labor peasants labor is at the crux of the matter kete adhika pariman re so the kete adhika pariman re labor ta ko extract kara jai paribo sei ta ya ta upare hi lords mane gurutva douthle and uh, so the uh, virtually uh, uh, so the uh, the uh, this uh, particular system was uh, borrowed by the uh, so the indian historians particularly by r s sharma uh, so the r s sharma and uh, virtually in 1900 uh, 20s and 30s uh, so the uh, so the uh, 1920s and 30s we find one of the belgian historians that is uh, piren piren had uh, discussed about uh, feudalism and he had uh, tried to understand the uh, dichotomy between uh, trade and feudalism and it is the decline of the trade uh, during 5th century rome that uh, brought uh, feudalism into the core and uh, so the trade is inextricably linked with uh, decline of trade uh, linked is inextricably linked with uh, the decline of urbanization urbanization and uh, uh, so the in any case uh, this uh, leading to this uh, um, uh, this uh, decline of trade and urbanization led to the uh, so the development of ruralization ruralization and the development of lord uh, so the vassal relations we can see the core of uh, so the feudalization the point is decline of trade decline of urbanization as well as uh, the Uh, so the uh, decline of urbanization and the paucity of coins uh, so the uh, trade decline kare jauchi urbanization decline kare jauchi ebong ta pore ruralization so the develop koruchi and uh, the lords in the locality who were asked to uh, so the capitalize on the labor force for so the more agrarian production agrarian production of the gurutwa diya jauchi in any case uh, uh, so the trade is the uh, decline of trade is inextricably connected with uh, uh, so the connected with uh, the uh, ruralization and uh, that has led to the development of feudalism in medieval india and in any case uh, this uh, feudal hypothesis has uh, he got out uh, prominently in the uh, so the in the historical discourses essentially by the marxist historians and <coughs> marxist historians and uh, who had uh, focused their uh, so the uh, attention essentially on the growth of uh, capitalism capitalism and expansion of capitalism through colonialism in asia in the orient and in other places and uh, so the uh, virtually uh, so the marx had talked about uh, the uh, so the uh, development of capitalism which uh, succeeded the 
so the those which succeeded in the feudalism in uh, so the feudalism in modern europe and uh, so the uh, virtually uh, so the while well, marx had uh, discussed about uh, capitalism as a universal phenomenon as a global phenomenon that ke ame 1990 pore jemti the kuch hai uh lpc liberalization globalization privatization uh je tole soviet russia uh, so the uh, collapse kare jao chi ame lpc ye kore chi what a globalized village the whole globe is turned into a village and uh, so the uh, the village is always uh, connected with uh, so the one to one relationships so Uh, so the state is no longer a closed state now, and in uh, likely, uh, so the uh, Marx had talked about a globalized world through capitalist uh, production, production remaining at the crux of the matter according to Marx. But coming over to Indian soil, Marx had also uh, Marx had Marx and Engels had uh, given the a theory of patriarchal mode of production and in which he uh, so the uh, he in which he uh, he was not inclined to accept uh, the development of capitalism because of the absence of accumulation accumulation uh, so the capital is not accumulating in uh, so the indian subcontinent because uh, Uh, the history since and since time has remained changeless, and uh, the dynamism which has remained a uh, remained uh, the basic uh, parameter, basic matrix of uh, European history is not encountered in its Indian counterparts. And uh, so, the however real dynamism came to India. only with the colonial interventions and expansion of colonialism into india and however in indian context many historians had jumped into discourses on uh, so the on uh, uh, so the uh, jumped into discourses on uh, pluralism and capitalism uh, during uh, so the uh, so the uh, and uh, they felt uh, they Uh, they were uncomfortable with the uh, so the uh, with the way uh, so the Karl Marx and Engels had uh, proposed uh, had uh, promoted this uh, so the idea of patriarchal mode of production and uh, so the many of the students like Irfan Habib and others so they criticized uh, the uh, they were critical of Marx uh, assessments. in any case coming over to feudalism in india and uh, so the the theory was uh, first uh, uh, so the mooted by dd kosambi dd kosambi and uh, in 1956 so the uh, his work was published uh, the work was uh, an introduction to the study of indian history where he Talked about the growth of feudalism in Indian history as a and described it as a two-way process. One is uh, as has already been outlined in the introduction, and uh, the one process is from the above, and the other is from below. And uh, the uh, from above, the feudal structure was uh, created by uh, the state. granting land and rights to officials and brahmins and uh, here i want to say that uh, early medieval india was uh, basically characterized uh, by the phenomena of land grants and uh, uh, we can take up the case of rajasthan gujarat uh, uh, so the karnataka uh, so the Uh, so the tamil nadu andhra pradesh and odisha as well as bengal uh, to some extent these are the states where uh, so the uh, this early medieval period from 400 to 1200 ad uh, 
and uh, this had witnessed uh, the issue of land grants in favor of the uh, so the brahmanas in large numbers particularly both the brahmandev and the devadev grants is somewhere porjapta parimanare land grants so the dia hochi and the dia hochi it pe dia hochi je so the brahmanas man ko ebo officials man ko सो द स्टेट जो सैलरी दउतला से सैलरी दे परना है दे परना यही कारण हो जे तारो सो द एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट बैलेंस सो द इंडिया फेवर रे नहीं एंड सेटा गुटे बड़ा रीजन एबो जे तो एक्सटर्नल ट्रेड सो द अफेक्टेड हि जउची सो द लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस ट्रेड अफेक्टेड हे जाउची तेनो कॉइन्स आसु नाही कॉइन्स इंडिया को आसु नाही तेनो गोल्ड और सिल्वर आसु नाही पर्याप्त परिमाण रे आसी पाउ नाही ट्रेड हैड कोलैप्स्ड सिंस 5th सेंचुरी एडी इन रोम कारण रोम सहित मेजर चंक ऑफ इंडो यूरोपियन सो द इंडियस ग्लोबल ट्रेड वाज कनेक्टेड विद दैट ऑफ रोमन ट्रेड and room ru maximum parimana re so the gold and silver asutla which is amply proved by uh, so the by archaeological evidences in any case uh, uh, so the in order to maintain uh, the uh, so the maintain the state and the state organizations so the uh, the kings started issuing grants in the Uh, so the in the villages and both the brahmanas and the officials and nobles uh, they were granted lands in the villages and uh, they became the intermediaries between uh, the people and the state and so uh, so they did the colonialism from below this is about individuals and a small group of the localities and particularly at the village levels uh, so the becoming landlords and the vassals of the kings so the they virtually appropriated the situation in their favor and uh, they turned out to be the great beneficiaries and uh, they continue to work as uh, uh, so the intermediary is uh, between the people at the bottom and the uh, so the king at the center so kings remain at the crux of the matter and then the intermediaries and then the uh, so the uh, then the uh, so the, the people or the peasants in any case uh, uh, so the aris sharma uh, virtually developed upon the thesis uh, so So the uh, mooted by Dedi Kosambi, and uh, he started his work in 1958, and uh, very surprise, very surprisingly, through uh, so the throughout the entire period of his uh, academic activity from 1958 to 2010, 2010 for long 52 years he worked on feudalism in India, and uh, there are a lot of criticisms which. Uh, came from different quarters and mostly from among his uh, marxist colleagues and uh, his uh, theory was uh, criticized by uh, so the historians like uh, vehemently by historians like arban smukhia arban smukhia and uh, in any case uh, arban smukhia and others so the all of them are his uh, marxist colleagues in delhi and हेलो हेलो ऐसा अमित सर डिस्कनेक्ट हो जाते देख
यूरोपियन बहुत आर मोस्टली बेस्ड ऑन दी एग्रारियन इकोनॉमी आउ किंतु जदी हमें यूरोपियन कॉन्टेक्स्ट को देखिबा तो समान को गुटे डायरेक्ट रिलेशन थिला लॉर्ड्स आउ भासल्स मान कर मध्य से माने गुटे कॉन्ट्रैक्ट थिला कि भासल्स मान को से माने सुरक्षा देबे आउ लॉर्ड्स मान को मध्य सर्विस आउ आर्मी रो सुरक्षा मिलिबे किंतु इंडियन कॉन्टेक्स्ट को जदी हमें देखिबा तो मोस्टली ए जो ग्रांट्स माने मिलला ब्रह्मदेव थ्रो रे मिलला आउ अन्य प्रकार जो लैंड ग्रांड मान दिगला थ्रो लैंडलर्डस मान धीरे धीरे राजा मान को अधीन रही जो इकोनोमीटा राजा अंडर बेस राजा मान अंडर रोला से ही अर्थनीतिटा एवं ये लैंडलर्डस मान रही गले अंडर को डायरेक्ट गला सार जो कथा कहते कि गुप्त वंश पर आष्यभूति हर्षवर्धन पर जो फरेन ट्रेड रनसेप्ट आ बाहर देश रू आम वाणिज्य बेपार चलुला से बहुमत क्षति हो गला और बाहर बेपार आम को रोम सहित तो जो बेपार हो तबे आरएस शर्मा सो दे वर्चुअली कॉपीड दे मॉडल गिवन बाय पीरेन द बेल्जियन सो दे बेल्जियन हिस्टोरियन एंड सो दे अप्लाइड द सेम टू इंडियन कंडीशंस एंड आल्सो ही एड सो दे in later uh, so the later uh, period in the later page of his life he revised this uh, thesis as per the uh, so the parameters as per the matrix uh, which had been dealt with by mark block and uh, pudding and brudel you yeah, know so the, the two historians of the anel school anel school ro history virtually uh, armola 1930s pore 1920s upon 30s re pirin namak jane so the pirin namak jane belgian historian say they talked about so the while pirin are talked about the uh, so the uh, the collapse of the grand trade grand trade which uh, led to the ruralization and a sort of economic structure was created and uh, which uh, uh, so the which uh, virtually led to the development of an economy which may be called as so the closed or state economy and uh, in uh, however r s sharma copied the uh, perennial model in almost uh, so the all in uh, in every detail its terminology was also copied by him and uh, however the grand trade uh, so the one of the main reasons why grand trade collapsed was uh, the foreign invasions and particularly the islamic invasions of europe during 7th century ad and prior to that the huna and the barbarian invasions of italy and other regions and uh, particularly the germanic tribes uh, bringing the whole of rome and the roman empire 
under its control that contributed to the uh, insecurity of the peasants and the development of feudalism and uh, which ensured the protection to the uh, people uh, through a sort of lord master relationship created by uh, so the created by the kings in uh, france and however uh, so the rs sharma had applied this uh, model to indian conditions and of course uh, so the uh, the fifth century ad had witnessed uh, huno invasions huno invasions and uh, the huno invasions uh, as one of the reasons for the uh, so the for the collapse of the uh, so the collapse of the uh, uh, so the uh, great trend of india has been discussed in greater detail by bns jada one of the fellow colleagues of uh, so the rs sharma in any case uh, uh, so the the cultivating peasants uh, so the cultivating peasants uh, were now subjected uh, to a class of landlords or jamidars who are created as a result of land grants made by the kings in the rural areas and we find uh, so the uh, now we find the migration of the brahmanas and nobles into uh, the uh, into the villages and we find also the expansion of agriculture development of agricultural technology and the bidi chatopad they in uh, so the while working in rajasthan he talked about the development of technology in uh, uh, so the in various parts of rajasthan and also digging of the step wells protection of the existing ponds and lakes maintenance of the same and the land grants virtually contain all rights all rights over land so the uh, so the was conferred upon the grantees or the donors who had received the land grants uh, uh, so they from the kings and however uh, so the, the kings uh, were now economically protected and politically secured because uh, the political juridical matters were now transferred into the hands of the local jamidars local jamidars and uh, particularly the donors who have received the land grants simultaneously the brahmana who received the land grants they established uh, schools for the dissemination of the knowledge sanskritic knowledge we find also the development of uh, so the development of various kinds of knowledge like astrological knowledge so that is uh, you know that astrological knowledge uh, uh, so the was being propounded by the brahmanas and uh, was disseminated by the uh, brahmanas in order to forecast the weather and to till the land and uh, for the maximum uh, so the Uh, so the maximum produce for maximization of the produce in the land so irrigation astrological predictions so they became a parameter of the agrarian uh, social structure and the brahmanas became the most important uh, uh, so they played an important role in uh, so the educating people about the uh, so they made a mode of agriculture which can uh, so the uh, which can contribute to uh, better production and uh, that is the uh, so the however a uh, predict about uh, the uh, climatic conditions so whether the climatic conditions would be uh, so the conducive for the expansion of the agriculture in any case uh, uh, he developed the so a sort of uh, so the uh, sort of faith was uh, uh, faith was uh, created in the minds of the people in the minds of the people however uh, professor uh, so the bns jada had also uh, so the uh, further uh, uh, the uh, discussions on feudalism and uh,
this uh, um, the feudal hypothesis of Pali Sarma had also received the uh, so the due attention of the scholars like Venus Jadav and uh, D. N. Cha. But the only person who was uh, critical of uh, the thesis given by R. S. Sarma was uh, D. C. Sarkar. D. C. Sarkar wanted to know the distinction between uh, uh, so the feudal lords and the uh, Jamidars in Indian context and the characteristic features of the feudal lords as well as uh, uh, so the characteristic features of the Jamidari system in India and particularly this. Uh, so the uh, so one thing which has been uh, uh, so the uh, brought to discussion and uh, was uh, the uh, was uh, the control over the body physic of the peasants in Indian context. In any case, one of the greatest critic of uh, uh, so the uh, feudal hypothesis of Paray Sarma was uh, Harbans Mukhya. Harbans Mukhya, Prathame, Tanko Kyuri Dari Kriya Sile Unisa Onasi Masere, say in the history congress or section on president is a very problem and elect. Ebon Kalaje, so the feudalism is uh, uh, so the is not at all uh, so the is not at all a universal phenomenon, universal phenomenon. Earlier, so the uh, virtually uh, uh, she talked about uh, uh, so the Aris Sharma uh, had talked about the fact that the way the uh, hunting gathering societies the food producing societies, uh, capitalism, all these uh, societies were having universal characteristics and uh, similarly feudalism has also universal applications. So the battle, uh, so, the, uh, so the, uh, the models which are being applied to European conditions prior to feudalism are applied to Indian conditions then why not uh, feudalism be applied to Indian conditions? In case, and, uh, so the uh, three important features which uh, uh, can affect uh, the agriculture, and uh, particularly at the three levels, and uh, first is the ecological level. In the ecological level, he made a comparison between the European climate and Indian climate. the European climate is sunshine the tilling to harvesting so the pigeons man ko sabu kamo Lord man exploit pigeons man Pigeon from labor to current maximum maximization of production time. In the Indian conditions, sunshine remains all through the year, roughly for about uh, uh, so the, uh, 10 months in a year. Even secondly, the production ratio is also different. Generally, production ratio uh, so the Europe one is to 2.5 juta ki rise kala 11 12th century bolku so the one is to uh, 2. Point, uh, uh, so the one one is to four same proportion ko jetole lead korche setable indian production level paka baki so the indian production level paka ki rauchi one is to 12 ro opore one is to 16 so the India production level is very high. And however, we find that in the three so the India double crop system is very high. And the production is very high. So the pigeon labor is extracted in India. So the two petty beggars that is limited to 30 uh, days in a year, which is not a uh, 
so the which is not a difficult uh, time uh, difficult uh, which is not difficult to be met with by an average person so the 11th 12th century meloku uh, virtually uh, so the uh, production level higher level le pahunchuti because uh, the exploitation of the labor class people virtually the vassals was a maximum and which is leading to lot of rebellions rebellions and then we find 11 12th century feudalism uh, so the highest level rochi jetobe production madhya highest level le rochi jetobe production highest level le rochi setobe puni grand trade puni trade arambh hochi 11th 12th century bolu ko puni trade arambh hochi ebol ja polare feudalism decline koruchi and ta pore feudalism kintu india ko asila beluku so the jamidars are not exploiting the grantees or the donors uh, they are not exploiting the labor uh, so the uh, labor uh, so the, there was no intense uh, exploitation or appropriation of the labor and then there was uh, dissemination of the technology uh, through the presence of the brahmanas in the villages and uh, so the the question of the past static or uh, so the unchanging in the in the challenges uh, by the historians the urban smoke anger coival sir Uh, so the the economy which was uh, present in india was essentially a pre peasant economy the way the to be vehement criticism hochi so the rsr mantra theory ko set up le se nuwa jinis ran chanti ta gro argument ko further kariwa pe mane rakhantu 1958 ro 2010 parjanto persistently आरे शर्मा तंक थ्योरी को से डिपेंड कर छथि एट एवरी लेवल बहुत समय रे से क्रिटिसिजम उड को पॉजिटिवली ग्रहण कर छथि एको जते बेले अर्बन स्मोक के कर अर्बन स्मोक के तंक को क्रिटिसिजम क्रिटिसिजम कर छथि तारो उत्तर रे से आसु छथि से तंक थ्योरी दउ छथि जे सो दे देयर वर डीप रूटेड सोशल क्राइसिस इन फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ सेंचुरी एडी एंड so the imposition of the coercive authority became essential and for which grants were made in favor of the brahmana and nobles and they had the shastrik knowledge and they had the knowledge about the coercive methods about semane they would maintain the law and order and they would also disseminate knowledge about uh, Uh, so the agriculture and uh, however uh, so the uh, these landlords uh, so they are uh, endowed with landed wealth and they are also given politico juridical rights administrative and um, judicial rights so and good they are also and uh, the donors are emerging as landed emerging intermediaries between the ruler and the actual peasantry and uh, virtually the doni to also the uh, in due course of time and uh, they uh, virtually uh, got themselves uh, deeply rooted uh, deeply rooted in uh, uh, so the, in the localities and uh, they became powerful forces uh, to be dealt with and uh, so the however it has been assumed that uh, uh, the uh, the failure of uh, decline of the long distance trade had led to uh, so they led to the dearth of metallic currency and uh, this uh, particular uh, so the absence of metallic currency due to the paucity of metals so the had also been this uh, theory of uh, uh, so the rs had also been uh, so the by historians and the paleo ya historians like 
Uh, uh, so the uh, students like uh, Ranbir Chakraborty, Bharavi Sahu, Vidhi Chakrapadhyaya, BN Chakraborty, Semane Kochati, say, so the positive of coins, uh, the absence of coins, Jyoti uh, Pai, Jyoti Pai, actually, uh, so the, this uh, feudalism is emerging in Indian society, a class of intermediaries uh, are emerging in Indian society. And uh, so the class of uh, so the intermediaries are emerging in lieu of uh, so the uh, monetary economy. Uh, they uh, so the uh, so the however the future the fifth against rate. Uh, so the Ranbir Chakravarti Kauchanti is a uh, the fourth, fifth uh, century to Aramukri, tenth century Purjanta, India a volume of trade. So they declined Karuni, declined Karuna him. And uh, so the uh, John S. Doyle Kauchanti, they besides the book. Zakir sir, outer deals disconnect here. So, I call you. I promise kindly session to continue. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, sir, who brought up the question is that local man, historian man, come and there is also a part of our part of our history. Because if we get the points, we get the points. We get the border settlements, we get urban development, we get the trade. We get the trade. I want to go here, but we manage to say so. The Kajauni, uh, oh, good to put a new historian, such on the right wing historian, seven according to the night, but what temple or development he hochi tapore the Jodia Medekiva to Brahmana Manuku vote to Dan, Doctor Jomidia Gola, Tara development hochi to Tanko Modere, Parthokia, the Kiba to Sombavato, Karan. I'm a young feudalism who European context to the Kutu, young form the Kutu, young characteristics the Kutu. Sehi on Usari, Jedi Ame, Urapuri, Habi, the Indian context, Taku Devaku Chahiba, at a Sombova Hipari, Vinahi. Okay, to set a worldwide good concept of Chiki, A. Soma Vitre, Purapurti, a feudal concept of Rothila, our Ajimodam debates with the Kivaki, feudalism to Chi, Samanto Bachu, Ochuamijaku, set out on ending debates for Indian context. Our Say of the Ares Sorma Kotanti, Tapuri, Harbans Mukia, Jamanaki, Egaraso, Pore, Amo feudalism, Sorigola Kotanti, in the Dodiko Sambi, the Kutantiki, European feudalism followed by capitalism. In the Indian context to set a Houni, Karan, Bohibari, Panija, set a develop Halani. Setipan say a feudalism to seventeenth century Pajantamo de Nejojanti. So there is a discontinuity. Among the opinions given by the scholars, how seti pay? I mean, jodi feudalism ro concept ko Indian India re apply kari vaku chahi ba? To sir Asili bodo. Hello, sir. Mic ta apn kor mute achi sir. Lock me sir. Mic ta mute achi. Take it. Okay, okay. 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 Uh, then uh, Doyle is of the opinion that uh, uh, so the, uh, these are not the gold, silver and the copper were not the only objects which were being used for uh, so the marketing purposes and for marketing purposes uh, spices, pieces of cloth of certain quality and a measure of particular grain was also being 
used as a medium of exchange and also india is known for the use of kauri currency until 19th century and kauris were uh, being uh, so the imported from maldives in large quantities and we have enough of evidences about extensive trade with the maldives in any case uh, uh, so the uh, so the uh, in any case uh, ari sharma had defended his uh, uh, so the defended feudalism uh, so the in a, in an article published in 1980s uh, by writing uh, so the by writing an article that is how feudal was indian feudalism and however dn cha another colleague of uh, so the ari sharma he had opined that the feudalism operated not only in the economic level not only in the agricultural level but also in the religious level in the cultural and uh, ideological level there are also cultural and ideological dimensions uh, to that of uh, so the feudalism and uh, uh, so the uh, feudalism uh, so the is a comprehensive term and one of the major dimensions uh, is uh, uh, so the super explored is that of religion and particularly religion surrounding bhakti bhakti was uh, developed as an ideological uh, propensity during uh, the uh, the entire period of uh, starting from 8th century ad onwards in kerala in tamil nadu in karnataka in maharashtra in gujarat in uh, so the rajasthan in northern india and also in bengal and odisha and uh, this is the period which uh, saw the vernacularization of the language and the cultures but now i am to uh, so the connect uh, the language and culture with that of uh, feudal uh, so the structures and uh, so the bhakti cult is often being seen as a sort of uh, protest against uh, brahmanical domination or brahmanical orthodoxy and uh, the proponents of feudalism uh, so they like that of dn jha and uh, see these as the portraits of brahmanical domination by virtue of the ideology of total surrender subjection and the loyalty to the deity and we find enough of information from kerala from tamil nadu from karnataka of bolil sabab ki the most different so the poems and uh, they talked about total surrender subjection loyalty to a deity and uh, second this uh, surrender and loyalty of the devotees was uh, transferred uh, to the feudal lord and the master and uh, that is evident in uh, south india mostly in south india and uh, how is it that so the the, uh, the devotees were completely had completely surrendered subjected themselves and loyalty to the deities and the kings in south india and the lower level kings and the higher level kings uh, they virtually identified themselves with the gods and the temples were uh, built against the name of the kings and in the temple compounds you will find a, a main temple which has been constructed by the uh, by the cholo king for example in the raja raja sort temple at uh, uh, tanjore and uh, within the temple complex you will find multiple temples have been built by the samanta kings and the samanta kings and these temples were also named after uh, so they named after by the respective uh, uh, feudal lords and virtually the uh, devotees were visiting one temple to the other temple 
they were subjected to the samantas and the indirectly to the kings so they surrendered to the deity because the king is identified the god king concept was a prevalent in south india and in any case so the uh, virtually um, uh, so the uh, pd chotopa there had uh, talked about uh, had also challenged uh, the uh, so the feudal hypothesis uh, made by ale sharma and uh, he stated that uh, uh, long distance trade uh, existed and uh, uh, so the uh, uh, so the however the uh, early medieval india is uh, characterized uh, by the development of the regional states in different parts of the indian subcontinent and uh, we find the vernacularization of the culture vernacularization of the literature and uh, the uh, so the however vernacularization and also we find uh, the uh, so the uh, uh, we find the tribal swear pejantized and uh, also um, the expansion of agriculture and the market played a very significant role in the formation the social formations of south in the social formations of north and the south india and in any case feudalism had remained a very debatable uh, so the question in uh, early medieval india and this has been subjected to lot of criticisms uh, throughout the uh, its history and uh, still then uh, so the uh, we have to accept the uh, so the uh, reality and we have to probe more uh, so the by uh, delving into the land grants uh, the content of the land grants uh, so the which have been uh, showed in favor of the uh, so the in favor of the jame in favor of the brahmana jajola the nobles and officials so this is all about my presentation okay if there are any questions hello hello thank you all uh, thank you sir thank you sir thank you all thank you sir uh sakhi sir uh, is it fine ha huh. yes sir yes sir i i ask the uh, learners if they are interested or if they have any queries they may ask the questions directly to you okay uh, be before summarizing the lecture Okay, let them ask me. I don't find any question in the uh, chat box. Oh. Okay, if there is I, no question. If you have any questions, please ask your queries. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, sir, sir, have beautifully uh, he has beautifully defined the. Uh, concept of the feudalism that is implication to india and as uh, sir also said that uh, the whole concept is now a debated concept because few scholars are in support of the feudalism that is imp implemented to the european context and the, in the same as will be implicated to the indian context however few of them they oppose that yes there is no such type of feudal uh, notions as it is in the european context and it will be implicated to implemented to the indian context however yes few features are very much similar as the distributions or the disintegration of the empire of the after the harshavardhan and as uh, yeah. even dedi kosambi he extended um, the feudalism concept up to 17th century because the european feudalism was followed by the capitalism yeah. and it is not uh, yeah. visible in the indian context uh, so the whole uh, feudalism the concept of feudalism which is visible in indian context is not in toto as to the european context because they have the agrarian relations between the vassals and the landlords and the landlords they protect the and secure the rights 
of the vassals and the vassals they secure the army security to the old landlords and this is not there is no direct link is visible in indian context we indirectly relate both to uh, visualize a picture of the feudalism and the notion is totally missing in india uh, and and yeah. however the debate is going on since long in 1958 to since the time of the r s sharma and and so even many of his scholars they are not agree with the r s sharma also uh, and this it is my request to the scholars if you are going to learn anything means about any concept uh, don't be biased because it depends upon the uh, historians what is in his mind actually and what type of theory he is going to give to the society uh, because because it is our own understanding which may rise to the concept and a notion so the differences between the historians is a common thing in every society is not it sir yeah uh, so feudalism uh, so the Uh, has been considered as having uh, innumerable variations, yes, and uh, this is not universal in character. This is uh, uh, so the uh, this has uh, varied features in uh, varied features in uh, different regions, whether in China yes. or in Japan, uh, so the or in India, and that is why Indian feudalism. You see, Indian feudalism. that means we use the term indian food indian cuisine indian dress indian climate likewise indian feudalism that means feudalism is borrowed from outside and <laughs> so what is that all about yes sir it is now indianized concept ah uh, indianized concept so yes, the uh, um, but the uh, so the uh, here you see that uh, there was no there was exploitation of uh, resources not exploitation of the body person yes sir body person so the body person was not appropriated the labor was not appropriated to the maximum which was the feature of the european uh, feudalism European feudalism रो कोटे बड़ा characteristic हो चुकी है जैसे मतलब they are the peasants who are tied to the land yes. and uh, but in India so the the peasants who are free as has been enunciated by Harman uh, Smokia the peasants who are free and uh, uh, so the they have their uh, control over their labour so the uh, they are operating but the uh, petty beggar ने चालीस दिन लेबर से माने अधिका दिन नुहे भी yes sir someone has asked me a question how to answer him someone has asked a question difference between european feudalism and europe uh, indian feudalism yes sir she asked sir hello uh, should i answer uh, so the yes, sir. verbally yes sir yes sir yes sir yeah i told you european feudalism is characterized by Uh, lord uh, bhasal relationship to where the labor of the bhasal is appropriated uh, intensely by the lord which is not happening in indian context this appropriation here 
the appropriation is the appropriation of the surplus produce through so the tribunes and the through रोल they were forced laborers like the forced laborers and they are bound to do the work whereas in indian context they are free there is no force over the uh, landlords because the land was granted to the peasants or uh, land was granted to the brahmanas uh, as for the second questions of ajit naik is concerned sir which historians theory is most acceptable uh, there are in historical fields there are several groups and because of these differences of opinion several new schools were opened like subaltern schools and all schools marxist schools nationalist schools those schools are opened because of the differences of opinion and uh, one of the main co- interesting thing of the history is that if you don't have any differences in yourself because if you think if there is reasonable uh, regional region in your uh, concept you are thinking differently from others then you are doing something good because the if if you see one thing in differently that may rise to the different ideas uh, it is difficult to say that which concept is good for you but if you followed several books different books then and the proper sources it may con- uh, you are you must be convinced that which is good for you also karan ama pai ko ta bolo ame decide kariba से आम समस्त को पढ़वार दरकार यहाँ कह कौट मार्क्सीस्ट थियोरी कौट न्यासनालीस्ट थियोरी सब थियोरी जी आम निजे पढ़ा तो आम निजे डिसाइड करवा कौट आमपाई भल Yes, and nay. There is a, another question, sir. Which historians' theory is most acceptable? Historians' theory it is still debatable. Yes, sir. That that's why I am answering, sir. It is still debatable. Only in so much production or labor, sir. Production over a uh, control entity, or such state or control, or such a po jamidar swal kar control, or such ba grantees swal kar control, or such. आज कल से फ्यूडल फर्मेशन को प्राय कहीं ग्रहण कर फ्यूडल फॉर्मेशन को इंडियन कॉन्टेक्स्ट में प्राय के ग्रहण करना थी कारण जो कि अन्य थ्योरी जे थ्योरी ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन इंटीग्रेशन थ्योरी टा को मोर एप्रोप्रिएट बिली समस्त ग्रहण कर छथि पर्टिकुलरली द इंटीग्रेशन मॉडल मोटेड बाय बिडिचोट ऑफ द हरमन कुल के भैरवी साहू एंड अदर्स यस इंटीग्रेशन मॉडल इन तेनु फ्यूडल मॉडल आउ आजी वैलिडिटी नाही सर फ्यूडल मॉडल लो वैलिडिटी आजी नाही आजी का डेट रे सर नाउ टॉकिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन अ इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ द लोकलिटीज 
पुणी गोटे पठे सर सर हेलो सर हेलो 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 हाँ सर हेलो सर सुबह जाऊ सर हेलो सर सुबह जाऊ हेलो हाँ सर आप आवाज आस हाँ सर सुबह जाऊँ सर हाँ सर आ गोटे क्वेश्चन दे सुड वी एक्सेप्ट द इंडियन फ्यूडोलीजिम इन ए पॉजिटिव मैनर हेलो हेलो हाँ सर हेलो बोलो आवाज तो जाओ नहीं हेलो हाँ बोलो फिर से डिस्कनेक्ट है कभी हाँ ये भी अब मैं बोलूँ ये भी क्लास टा अति हो चुकी किंतु ये लास्ट क्वेश्चन तो कोई दो चुकी कि पॉजिटिव रखो तो कारण जो मुझे में तो कोई नहीं कि व्हाट व्हिच इज एक्सेप्टेबल टू ऑल मींस आरे सरमा वो तांको सही लोगों मानों को पाएं सी समय जितने सोर्स अवेलेबल क्लास से उन्हें सारे समय ना निजों निजों ओपिनियन टा दे जानती वर्तमान क्षेत्रों में नुआ नुआ सोर्स आसोची नुआ नुआ एविडेंसेस आसोची और जहाँ फॉलो रे सार्थ जमीन थी कोई लोगों के इंटीग्रेशन थ्योरी टा दिया जाए उची कारण इंडिजिनियस डेवलपमेंट � सेवेन्थ सेंचुरी एट सेंचुरी पर इलेवेन्थ सेंचुरी मध्य भारत विभिन्न जगह एत टेम्पल कन्स्ट्रक्शन एत सब मात्र डेवलपमेंट आम देखिपार ना कारण आम यूरोपियान कंटेक्स से डेवलपमेंट पाऊना कि इंडियान कंटेक्स आम बहुत डेवलपमेंट पाच कारण भारत जिते जिते बड़ बड़ मंदिर होते बड़ पैलेस हो सब यही पीरियड कन्स्ट्रक्शन होता से डिबेट्स चली वेदर Feudalism is acceptable, which was given the theory, which theory was given by Arya Sarma and Dr. Sarbi in 60s and 70s, or we will accept the theory given by the recent evidences. Na, Patit sir, hello, Patit sir. Hello. Ah, hello, sir. Hello, sir. हाँ मैं कंक्लूड ये भी सारी बात सर सर तो आज का क्वेश्चन मैं बोले लोकमित सर को धोने बाद जोने दो हाँ लोकमित सर को डिसकनेक्ट ही जीची ठीक हो ची सर थैंक यू ओके थैंक यू अजीत नायक वेलकम यस सर ये भी हमें आपको हमें जेही तो सेशन सॉरी लानी हमें आपको सेश करी पहला ओके सर दिस सेशन इज ओवर ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच ऑल ऑफ यू इस बंद करो जय हिंद ओके ओके सर सर मस्त बंद करो तो ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू ऑल फॉर वेल फॉर जॉइनिंग दिस अमित क्लोज करो ना हेलो